Got a little smell of that two-stroke oil in the morning. I bet old Greta, Thornbird, Thunberg, whatever her name is, I bet she cries a few tears every time I crank that old Mercury up. Today would be a good day to make a video on how to find fish, how to locate fish on a lake that you might have never fished before. So I'd like to show y'all my way of locating fish. Before I ever even make a cast in the water, I'm going to look for bait fish. So we're going to ride up and down the lake here and see what we can find. All right, I just rode up the river about three miles. I pulled into this pocket and looked at my graphs to see what I can find. So I found some good looking stuff. Um, but I haven't found any fish. The, the depth finders are just blank. Uh, it's just lifeless in here. There's no signs of any bait fish. There, there's no sign. There's not any birds flying. This time of year, you can see those birds flying. You know, a lot of times they'll show you where the fish are because those birds can't dive very deep and they have to have the fish to run those shad up so that they can feed. So if they're feeding, you see those birds diving. Uh, there's going to be fish under those birds that's running the, the bait fish up. Got some good looking points. I've got some deep piers here. This time of year, this lake, a lot of the good piers are, are out of the water. Uh, but we've, we've got some good looking piers over here. They've got the deep water. The thing is, is you really have to fight that urge to go fish, you know, that point or, or, or these piers or, or that lay down over there. Even though you might catch one or two fish, it's really not going to be worth your time. Basically, my rule of thumb is, is 90% of the fish are in 10% of the water. I'm going to stop and fish this spot right here. All right, guys, I'm in the back of this pocket right here, and I'm going to see if I can, uh, I can catch a fish. I've got a rattle trap tied on. It's just an old Rapala, uh, any type of rattle trap, any type of just silver and black rattle trap. Uh, will be fine. You know, a spinner bait would be a good search bait. Anything that you can cover a lot of ground with and cover a lot of ground quick. Mmm, there he is. Mmm, that's a nice one right there. Uh oh, I'm good. Uh, all right. That's a pretty nice one right there. All right, so uh, so I've changed spots. Let me get some pliers. I've changed spots. The last spot I stopped at, I found some bait fish. The wind was blowing real bad. This uh, this boat, I just bought it. Um, the trolling motor isn't the best. It's a motor guide, 71 pound thrust. And uh, anyway, the wind was blowing so bad, it was just barely keeping up. Uh, the water was deep. Uh, just really wasn't getting any response, but uh, I'm glad I moved here. Uh, I was just about to drive right past this spot right here and I decided to turn in. But uh, I bought this rattle trap uh, last, I guess it was last weekend at Bass Pro Shops. But uh, it's just, uh, I'm not sure the brand, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the actual rattle trap brand, but it's black back, it's got a red tongue and it's kind of transparent. And the rattle trap I was fishing with before it was a quiet rattle trap. So I changed it and uh, went with one with a little rattle but that's a that's a pretty nice little spot right there uh hope i can catch a few more he actually hit that one on the fall there's something wrong with my reel but uh but anyways uh i stopped and uh he uh he hit it my my reel 
I guess, had a loop in the line, and I stopped right there to uh, uh, see if I could figure out what was going on. And whenever it stopped, I got the loop out. When I, I, he hit it, must have went when I was on the fall. So I'm excited. That's a pretty nice little spot right there. 